Will I cry? Will I leave behind broken and crumbled signs? Hiding all my roads to you. Uh oh. And if I fight, will I come to life? Okay, so I'm so happy. Finally, finally, I'm feeling some sun. <sighs> Actually, I'm a winter baby. I love winter more than summer. But this year, winter just took so long. It's like since forever we are having snow and cold. And I really missed coming to this forest, smelling nice air, hearing these birds. And again, there is no one here but us. <sighs> I'm so happy. This now feels that officially spring has started and we will keep going to amazing nice nature places. Okay, but some parts now still so muddy because snow has just melted and it didn't dry yet. That's why I am walking so consciously. If I fall, anyways, you will see in the camera. <laughs> so before, I mean, if you follow us, since some time that you would remember we come to this forest almost every day this was one of our morning routine we were coming here every morning having a nice walk long walk and then we discovered a nice point in this forest where we were just sitting and doing our daily meditation and since long we couldn't do it you know back in India I used to go hiking every day and that too in Bombay. Can you believe that? So a lot of people don't know the main city of Bombay it's actually very very green you know like right in the middle of the whole city there is a huge forest which is like at least 10 times the size of New York's biggest forest you know like what's it called uh, a central park it's the pride of New York apparently because of its nature conservation and whatnot so Bombay has like at least 10 times the size it's called a Borivali National Park but I mean if you know the geography of Bombay it goes from Borivali all the way to Mulun so I used to live right under that uh, forest and every morning me and my little doggy Coco used to climb up that mountain and all the friends who used to visit me in Bombay they used to be very surprised that you know I kept telling people that I live in a proper city and then every day I used to get to go into a jungle, drink from natural springs. Yes, that place had a very pure natural spring you could drink from. So this place is actually very green and uh, we really like coming here and everything. But there's no natural source of water, you know. When I say natural source, I'm talking about like a spring water where you can drink water from. Here you have to buy something. But good thing, there are a lot of restaurants where you can go and get your drink or whatever. And as you can see, the rain has just stopped. So it's still kind of wet and muddy everywhere. And if I fight, will I come to life? Calling for all your life. the things about rain is when everything is wet especially the your roads your only option is to take the kacha road you know to the jungle see I am generally a jolly person but since some time I must confess that I was feeling a little bit depressed and I just remembered how coming to this place having this walk and having this meditation was helping us keeping our mental and physical health in a very good place so I can feel now if I start doing this again I will again start feeling the same and I'm so grateful for that I'm so grateful that we are able to come to this place 
we are able to feel the sun and feel this fresh air it's amazing okay so we are still walking i think it's been 30 minutes already but we are walking on that longer route we were doing before so we keep coming to different parts and the deep parts of the forest we are not following the normal track and it's going very well i know probably our legs will pain tomorrow because we didn't walk like this since long but who cares <laughs> we are enjoying it's so nice yeah, some people already picnicking there okay next time we are so picnicking here Either for breakfast or for lunch or dinner, we are coming for a picnic. <laughs> In this part of the forest, there are more tables, and probably during the weekend, this place will be so crowded now that weather is getting better. So, yeah, probably so we wouldn't come during the weekend because we love how we are alone in this place. And I think I wouldn't change this for anything. I will stay to find Every hidden sign Taking all my roads to you Uh-oh And I will fight I will come to life Calling for all your lights Giving my so place is full of these little benches inside the forest where you can sit and like have your small picnic parties and whatnot that's so cool and everywhere in the forest right everywhere and in the forest like you could be in the weirdest corner of the forest yeah. and you'll find like one small tiny bench just <laughs> for you to sit and chill out there even one day we were hiking in a very uh, high part of this forest remember it was too high mm -hmm. Even there we found these picnic tables. <laughs> what can I say? Turkish people... <coughs> Turkish, yeah. Sorry. What can I say? Turkish people love picnic. Oh, they love picnic too much. Because on the way we found like plastic bags everywhere. Come on, Turkish people. Come on, stop doing this. Yeah, okay, we love picnic, but please... Clean up after you. Yeah, don't throw your garbage in this kind of amazing environment. Yep. Uh, I never actually thought I would say this but because it was snowing last I don't know how many months and we could barely go out and enjoy nature like this I really missed picnicking I mean <laughs> in India we don't really have such a big culture of going for picnics and you know sitting and eating your food in the middle of the forest like this yes. but here I would uh, really like to do that yeah now he's also getting that feeling you know when we see a nice place he's also thinking if we go there and have a picnic <laughs> Picnic culture. Yes. Uh -oh. And I've been falling, I've been lost. And I've been calling on my ghost. So now that uh, the weather has finally cleared up, and I hope it doesn't get snowy again. My romantic feelings for snow has actually kind of subsided <laughs> because you can't do anything, you know, you can't go outside, you can't really do the things that you generally do. I mean, actually, we still went out, but, you know, it was cold and dull. We missed the sun. Sun didn't come in almost three months. First time. Yeah. And I could see why people get depressed a lot in this cold weather. Because you need the sun, you know. Being in the sun gives you the serotonin boost that you need, you know, to keep your mood upright and happy. Yeah. I'm so happy today. <laughs> Literally. Yep. Yep.
it's been almost one hour now. We reached one of our most favorite roads in this forest. Yeah. And it's just looking magical. It's like you can walk here forever. Yeah, it's like full of huge trees from both sides and there's a tiny road going which actually you can take your car through. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's it's I think the better experience would be if you actually walk through here. So one thing is that since we are not rushing for workout like before, today actually we are enjoying all the beauties. We are checking every corner, slowly we are walking, we are feeling the sun. That's why it is so amazing and it's been more than an hour almost and we are not even tired. I mean, you say we are not working out but I'm sweating a lot actually. Look at this, completely sweat. Yes, still sweating because it is sunny. Can you believe that? Yeah, it's, it's very sunny today. We have sun In a good way. I mean, I'm not complaining at all. I hope the sun continues till, I don't know, next six months. <laughs> it will, it will. Yeah. Finally. Okay. Let's continue. Okay. Do you remember all these roads? They are completely covered in snow last time we came here. This place that you see behind us, it used to be full of trees, very thick. So they have cut it down completely. There's nothing here right now. I remember we used to come here and the trees were very thick and they were full of berries. You know, I even picked a lot of berries and tried to eat them. It's all gone now. Like through here, you could not even see beyond. You know, you had to go in between the trees and the shrubbery to look down. I mean, you still see so many dead trees around here but I don't know why they did that not cool okay so we reached the place where we were meditating and we are kind of sad because first of all it's not as green as before it's maybe because of the season I cannot tell anything about it but so many things has changed here trees seems less also and it looks a little bit barren right now so I don't know maybe after some time it will be, get greener what do you think? Yeah, let's just keep moving. Let's just keep moving then. Maybe we can do our meditation near lake. What do you think? Okay, uh, this side. We have to cross. And you see because snow is just melting. This place was also dry before. And now there is a stream going on here. Anyway, so now we will go. We will walk further to the lakeside. If we find a nice place, then we will do our meditation there. Okay, okay now uh, we reached the lake, which you've seen before. Now we are in the other side of the lake, so we still have a long way to walk to the other side. And I feel, I feel really warm. It's uh, like a summer today. <laughs> hey, ducks! Ducky! It's been a while since we actually actually sat down like this and talked to you guys in the camera. Yeah. <laughs> so, what's up? What is happening? What's Give happening? We are working 24/7, and last months, especially last few weeks, were actually quite stressful, and it was so hectic. We both couldn't feel so peaceful actually until we came here today and did this. Yeah. Now I think we can feel better, we can get on track better and we have some new plans. Actually we were checking tickets to go to India. And we were planning how to go to India and like what to do there, all the places to travel and stuff like that. But then um, a sudden change of plans, we decided my parents might come here. So we invited the parents to come here first before we go there because we thought here weather is a little bit cooler and last time when they came was four years ago which we couldn't do so many things, mm -hmm. we invited them. I don't know if all of them can come, but yeah. at least we are expecting uh, mom to be here. I think if everything goes well, she'll be here in a month. 
and we are so excited we'll take her everywhere yes we are already planning where to go what to do it will be nice for us we miss her so much <laughs> yep since we saw her last time we got older now it have, was before I have, pandemic I have white beard and stuff yeah so i don't know if she's gonna recognize us but we are so excited we are planning nice things to do with her and then hopefully maybe in monsoon time or something we will be also in india yeah this plan has been going on for so long the pandemic happened and you know everything went to shit we could barely do anything so let's hope everything goes well this time yeah so some excitement came to our lives <laughs> it was nice to sit and chit chat with you guys now i think we will start moving and we will see you guys later on <laughs>